the city and county officials are continuing to address the issue of homelessness as illegal camping causes more and more public health and safety concerns. I asked the Missoula City Fire Department for data on the number of times they've responded to the Reserve Street Bridge. They say there have been 30 fires near the bridge since the start of this year, mostly unauthorized burning and trash fires. The top calls, 14 for unauthorized burning, 11 calls for outside trash fires. Other calls were for brush fires, dumpster fires, and some smoke scares. Officials recently announced Operation Shelter, the plan to institute three new shelters across the county before removing the illegal encampment under the bridge. Now they say they just hope that will help. How long have people been camping in this area? You know, I've been in the role here as the administrator for a little over two years, two and a half years. Prior to that, I was a construction engineer and uh, I spent about eight years in that role and people have been camping off and on in that area for that duration. Uh, it seems like in the last few years, the, the numbers have definitely increased drastically though. Bob Bozen with the Montana Department of Transportation says, it's time now to do something about the homeless camp under the Reserve Street Bridge. It's a really difficult area for first responders, whether it's you know EMTs or fire to respond to down there. It, it's hard to access, it's hard to clean up. There's uh, health and safety issues down there as well. Vozen says fires occur there often, blocking off traffic and causing concern for the infrastructure. It's just not a, not a great place for activities like this to be taking place. Now MDT, the city and county are working on a plan to remove the illegal campers. I think that it just took a long time for all the parts and pieces to be put together. But first, there has to be a place for them to go. In a July 15th public meeting, Missoula County Commissioners clarified why. You could not arrest people or charge them for trespassing or illegally camping on public land unless we there was an alternative. So what we're doing now is creating that alternative. And some of this land under the Reserve Street Bridge is public. Some is privately owned, but these two sections are public property. According to public records, this section in blue is owned by the city. And this area here in red is owned by MDT. It is public property, but uh, camping is, is not an acceptable use in that area any longer. A few weeks ago, we showed you the three lots officials are eyeing as potential future shelters. Since then, Missoula has spoken out. Many of the comments in opposition believe that Missoula is more likely to become the next Portland or Seattle, especially if additional services are provided. But Missoula's elected officials say we should provide a safe place to live for every community member. Some public commenters said officials should arrest or bust the homeless to neighboring cities. Abhorrent and absolutely unacceptable. We're not going to criminalize homelessness. But once there's more shelters in place, officials say law enforcement will be able to enforce trespassing. By doing nothing, um, we will get a we will get a product that is um, that is far worse than uh, than what we're seeing on the ground today. The public comment period is technically closed, but you can still email comments to solutions at missoulacounty.us. Both the city and county are continuing to look at shelter solutions. For more information, you can visit engagemissoula.com slash operationshelter.